Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you my thoughts and opinions on the new fragrance by Tom Ford that seems to be breaking the internet, Vanilla Six. Now, before we get into this fragrance, this is my first video of 2024. So of course I had to welcome you guys back to the channel. How have you guys been? I hope you guys had an amazing time with your friends and family over the holiday. Happy New Year. I'm praying for blessings for you guys, health, wealth, prosperity, peace, and happiness. Now, if you wanna know my thoughts, opinions, and I also wanna share with you a little bit of my first impressions on this fragrance, then please continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you like this video, thumbs it up so YouTube knows you love my content, leave me a comment down below so we can get to know each other, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Okay, y'all, Vanilla Sex. Now, let me say this about the name because I heard through the grapevine that Vanilla Sex is like whack, boring sex. I don't know. I wasn't getting into the name too much. I was just getting into the fact that it was supposed to be a vanilla bomb, but that's what the name implies. Vanilla sex isn't like, it's not giving reverse cowgirl, okay? It's not giving surfboard. So it's not giving none of that. So if you were like me and you were expecting this fragrance to give you boom, pow, wow, when you smelled it, then when you smelled it, you probably thought it was I, right. <laughs> because that's what I thought when I initially opened my box. I was like, okay, this fragrance is I. Right. I thought I was gonna be blown away because usually with Tom Ford, like when he does note kind of fragrances, like when he focuses on a note, like Lost Cherry, the cherry was the star of that show. That fragrance for me is like one of the end all be all cherries. It is amazing. Bitter Peach. He did that fragrance and for me that's like one of the best peach fragrances ever. Then you have Rose Prick. It's a rose fragrance but it's like a rose done like no other. So I just knew. I just knew Vanilla Sex was going to give me some type of a different, unique, outstanding, never smelled before, never done before vanilla scent. And I was wrong. Now, this fragrance isn't bad, but it ain't that good. <laughs> so let me tell y'all, initially when I smelled this fragrance, and let me rewind. <laughs> I got this fragrance on December 21st. So I've had this fragrance for a while, okay? Now, this fragrance, upon first sniff, when I first smelled it, I was underwhelmed. I was very underwhelmed. I'm like, is this the fragrance that I literally like had to take Bay's phone in the middle of the night, log into his Sephora account and order the fragrance using 20% fragrance for all in his account? Is this what I stayed up all night to get the app exclusive for? Is this what I've been like dreaming about? Because if you guys don't know, I love vanilla. I never get tired of vanilla. Vanilla get, never gets old to me. I wear vanilla fragrances all year round. It's not just for the fall and winter. I'm a vanilla girl through and through, so I wanna smell vanilla all the time. Now, I know with vanilla, you know, sometimes people can get tired of it and there's some vanilla fragrances that are very underwhelming and linear and, you know, kind of basic. And this is not a gourmand vanilla, let me just say that. Although it has almonds, it's bitter almond, but it's not that caramelly, sickly sweet type of vanilla. And I wasn't expecting that because of how the notes read. Now, with this fragrance, it is not an uncommon scent. There's something in here that's given me unique, but it's not unique in a good way. But the scent profile on a whole is not uncommon. And I have a fragrance in my collection that I'm gonna show y'all that is amazing. And if you have this fragrance, you probably don't need this fragrance. And if you don't have that fragrance, you should probably try to look into getting that fragrance because it is cheaper, not substantially cheaper, but it is more affordable and it smells 1000 times better than this fragrance. Now, what this fragrance smells like to me is an almond, right? No, not an almond. Think of a bunch of almonds, right? Like a basket full of almonds, bitter almonds and then sprinkled with Johnson & Johnson's baby powder. Just all over it, all up and through. And then you have like little, um, 
little areas where you have like vanillas, like just vanilla pods, like stuck in every now and again throughout the basket full of bitter almonds covered in baby powder. That is what I'm getting with this fragrance. It's super powdery, but in a baby powder-esque type of way. So it's so creepy to me because it's called a vanilla sex. So you're thinking like when you hear sex, you're thinking like adults, right? Two consenting adults. But then you smell baby-ish with the powdery baby powder. So it's kind of weird. It's like, I can't, I can't get down with the vanilla sex smelling like a baby, okay? So that is what I get with this fragrance. For me, the star of the show in this fragrance are the almonds, the bitter almonds. It's not a sweet fragrance. It's very nutty. And I love almond fragrances. I love nutty fragrances. It has a little like creamy lactonic type of vibe, just slightly, nothing like over the top lactonic, but it does have a creaminess in the dry down along with a little bit of vanilla, okay? And it's not vanilla extract, it's more like a vanilla pod. You haven't even split the pod yet to get out that vanilla caviar that's inside of the pod. It just smells like a vanilla pod with a bunch of bitter almonds and baby powder. So that's what the fragrance is gonna give. Okay, that's what it's giving me. I don't know what it's gonna give you, but that's what it's giving me. Now, we all know Tom Ford fragrances get a lot of hate within the fragrance community. As of late, it's getting more hate. Prior to, I feel like Tom Ford fragrances, at least for me, was like the end all be all. You know what I mean? Like I was wearing designer fragrances and this was like my niche fragrance because it was so expensive, not as pricey as it is today, but it definitely was like more pricey than the other fragrances that you would get from Macy's. And it had a certain like prestige to it. Like Tom Ford fragrances, you definitely was doing a damn thing. Like you was one of them girls. You was definitely that girl if you had Tom Ford fragrances in your collection. So for me, Tom Ford has a lot to live up to, but I feel like within the community now, like it's so many bomb fragrances and people are being introduced to so many niche houses that cost less than this fragrance that you can get more from in terms of performance and the scent. So Tom Ford has a lot to prove, you know what I mean? Like when these fragrances come out, they should smell like nothing we've ever smelled before. They should be giving the performance of all performances. They should be doing a damn thing. This one right here fell very, very short for me. Spoiler alert, this is going back to the store because I don't need it. It's not a horrible fragrance. It's not bad, but then it's not good either because I don't want to be reminded of baby powder. For me, like if I was to keep this fragrance, where I would wear this fragrance to is in the house. <laughs> I would definitely wear it in the house because it's one of those comforting, cozy type of scents, but then it gives you that baby powder-esque baby food type of vibe. So if you can get past that, then you'll probably love this fragrance. And if you've never smelled the fragrance that I'm gonna tell you about, and even some fragrance combinations that I have in my uh, collection that give you this vibe, then this will be very unique to you. I can see someone saying that this is unique, it's different because, you know, almondy, powdery, vanilla fragrances would be different. You don't have a lot of those on the market. You have more sickly, sweet, sugary, cupcake, brown sugar, vanilla extract fragrances more than you have of this type of vanilla fragrance. So the notes in Vanilla Sex, there's three different types of vanilla. There's bitter almond, there's floral notes, tonka, and sandalwood. And for me, I'm getting like a tuberose type of scent. I'm getting like a jasmine, you definitely smell the floral notes in this fragrance, but even like smelling it here, it kind of gives you like a baby food or it's giving something with a baby, okay? And it's not little baby and it's not the baby. It's giving some like wah, like little, little baby smell that is just so weird to me that I just can't get past. Now, the day that I got this fragrance, I did my first impressions and then the evening came, took a shower. I used a, a body oil, unscented, and I also used an unscented body cream, sprayed this all over my body 
and sprayed it all over my pajamas, okay? The performance on this fragrance is excellent. I had no issues with performance. It lasted on me. I was able to smell it from the evening up until the next morning. I smelled it on my clothes. I even smelled it on my skin. I can't tell y'all when it started to fade because I didn't clock it like that, but I know every time I smelt myself, like I smelt my skin and definitely smelling my clothes, I was smelling this fragrance. But in the middle of the night, around 3 a.m., I drink water all night, y'all, so I'm constantly using the bathroom at night. So around 3 a.m., I got up to use the bathroom, smelled myself. That was the first thing I did. Like, hmm, let me see if it's still on me. Smelled it on me and went to the bathroom. And I was like, what does this remind me of? Like, it's reminding me of something. Initially, when I smelled it, I was like, okay, it's not an uncommon scent. It's not a unique type of scent but i couldn't put my finger on what it actually reminded me of so then i'm just like smelling myself i went back to the bed smelling myself and i could not sleep i'm like what is this giving me so i left the bedroom came up in my closet beauty room whatever and i was smelling fragrances that i thought it was going to remind me of until i got to one fragrance and i was like this is it i cracked the case this fragrance is very similar but not better <laughs> to Rolling in Love by Killian. This is a vanilla, sweet almond, milky, lactonic, floral type of fragrance. So if you have smelled this, imagine uh, Rolling in Love with like baby powder and um, some type of a baby food. You're gonna get vanilla sex. Now, I don't wanna like talk down on this fragrance because it's not a bad fragrance. It's just not good. Like to me, it's not the best vanilla fragrance. It's not groundbreaking. It's not anything like that. It's okay. I did some layering combinations, not with this fragrance, but fragrances in my collection that I layered together that gave me the scent of vanilla sex. So the first one is Poudre by Narciso Rodriguez. It's like a powdery, musky fragrance. This is so beautiful. It's perfect for like in the house, for bedtime, for comfort, all year round type of in the house, you know, bedtime type of scent. Now, if you layer uh, Poudre by Narciso Rodriguez with Hypnotic Poison, you're gonna get the vibe of Vanilla Sex, but without that baby powder, scent because it's that scent in there that i just can't get with it's something in that fragrance that i'm not feeling other than that it would smell very very similar to rolling in love but if you were to layer these two you're going to get the vibe of vanilla sex which this is a musky powdery fragrance and this is like essentially like an almond fragrance like it's a sweet almond fragrance with some vanilla so you guys get where i'm going with this like vanilla sex isn't that much vanilla for me it's more of an almond fragrance a bitter almond fragrance so another combination that can give you the same vibe of vanilla sex is musk therapy by initio another musky like sandalwood creamy type of fragrance layered with joe malone myrrh and tonka tonka and almond if you layer these two right here you're gonna get that vibe of vanilla sex but just way way better okay that in my opinion i'm just telling you my opinion and my experience you can do this right here and get you that vibe with if you already have these fragrances without having to buy vanilla sex now who do i recommend vanilla sex for somebody that has a lot of money <laughs> who doesn't mind spending the money on a powdery almond fragrance with a little bit of vanilla nuances in the background like way 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 in the back because for me the vanilla is not up front you smell the vanilla but she's not the star of the show for me this is a powdery almond then it's giving some type of a baby powder baby food like something in here upon first sniff and through the dry down but it's not bad and it's not a fragrance that's gonna like it doesn't turn me off 1000 percent because if it did y'all probably wouldn't even be seeing this review because i would have took it back the very next day but i played with it and i wore it a few times and you know i can wear it it doesn't make my stomach sick it doesn't make me nauseous or anything like that but i just know i don't need it in my collection because like i said it's giving me the vibe of rolling in love but rolling in love is so much better okay so that's my quick little short review y'all 
on vanilla sex um don't worry all my videos are not going to be this short moving forward but if it's a single review like i mean i don't have that much to say about one fragrance so these videos are going to be a little bit shorter but i'm so happy to be back i can't wait to hear you guys opinion on vanilla sex let's talk about it below like we always do remember guys to stay safe be great stay great and always strive for greatness ai the great signing out but i'll see you in my next video peace